I think for a quid each, I think we're going to be doing all right. <laughs> I've just been to the tip shop, found some good stuff in there, including a massive load of bandages. Yeah, bandages, like, pastas, yeah. pastas, yeah. <laughs> Go on, JR. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Mike. Thank you for joining me. In this video, we are hitting a load of charity shops around Blackpool and the Fowl Coast. And when I say we, I mean myself and James Times with JR. He also has a YouTube channel and he's making a video of this exact two days of thrifting. It, we did one day and we thought, hey, went pretty well. Let's do a second day. So we did two days back to back. And that's what you're about to watch. So I hope you enjoy. Fire Coast Flicks! Right, we've just arrived here at Salvation Army. This will be the first one today. And we're going to hit it. Yes, we are. We're going to find some cool stuff Hopefully. to resell for profit. Rainbow's out as well. Yeah. It's looking good. It's been bad weather. And it's now cleared up. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> go on, JR. Yeah, fire. <laughs> Christmas. Salt and pepper shakers. Yeah, same. I was saying that before. Like, it, I, I need more. What do you think about them? They're kind of. Oh yeah, vintage like nineteen, uh, like nineteen nineties, aren't they? Yeah. Like, a little bit older than that. It's like polystyrene, basically, with like foil over them. It's done elm, what man? Yeah, done elm you know, stuff's quite good, I think. It can be. James over there checking out that lamp. We have a couple of. One C jars up here. How much are they though is the question. Three. Mm. Is that chip? No, it's just paint. I mean, they're, it's a little bit rough around the edges, but these ones are usually quite good. It'd obviously be better if there was a tea coffee sugar set of three, but they'll still sell like this. Oh, the lids are pretty, pretty rough actually. I've got some spare lids at home that may fit this. Mm. These are kind of borderline, but I think, I think they'll do okay, three quid. That's the maximum I'd want to pay for them. Wouldn't go higher than that. This is, this is A, salt comps are, 20 to 30 yeah. but i think it's a really nice time of year to get this but i also think the one that sold was all silver and i think white and black combo color very yeah. in at the moment like a lot of people like that on the desk yeah but yeah don't know so we do port marion port marion like it's a bit larger the larger like cookie jars yeah, yeah, can go for wooden. some of them can go through a lot so i'm gonna get that because if nothing else i would lot it with a few other Port Marion things and do like a bundle. Hey, we're, we're, we're doing it. We're off to yeah. the start. Look at that. That's lovely, isn't it? Dreams not scary, they're not big enough. <laughs> Go full time reselling in a financial crisis. Is that what it says? <laughs> <laughs> what about them? Are they nice or horrible? I can't quite. I can't quite they're not for me. Out. No. And I don't think I like them, they're but. Just... But it's the colour, it's, it's the beige I'm also and brown. Not, when it comes to you, you kind of know you're not you know your audience. Yeah. I always I always try and look at something and picture it in a room or in a house. And I don't know what house that fits in apart from some old woman. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. so that, <laughs> old old women and can buy stuff. Oh too. no, 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 no <laughs> Sorry to trash, trash you, you bit. 
It works. It's like 9,000 years old and it, no, and it works. No, that's 80s. That's 80s or 90s, <laughs> that bad boy. I swear I used to have one of them. Exactly. Did so. you? <laughs> I, I swear down I had one of them. It's very too quick. Oh, get it. Get it on. Get it gone. <laughs> yeah, check this out. That bot. So, fun fact for you. This is the first item I ever bought from this charity shop back when it first opened. Five quid is what I paid for it back then. This one though is missing bits. It's got the pen all over it. It's missing all its projectiles. It's got no characters with it or anything. Um, it's rough around the edges. It works though. They don't, they're not as good these days as well. There's like a new, more updated model of this. Antenna, Solomon. Yeah, good Walking brand. season, good brand. They don't look too bad a condition, but that's not anything to worry about. Yeah. Soles are good. They're not Gore-Tex, which is obviously what I would really want on these, but, you know, come January, everyone's going to be keep fit, wanting to get walking, get in and out. Yeah. Lovely. We'll have yeah, good find. Give them a go. But my favourite pick up Yeah, I really that. like that. Two quid. That pops. She looks awesome. Wolves are very in, but I'm loving the dream catcher on the back. Yeah, that's cool. That's I'd, awesome. I'd wear that. Can I have it? No. <laughs> so there you go. We're off to a start. Just a few bits in there for me. Ceramics, some baubles. On to the next. And then play back. These Hard Rock Cafe. £3.50 for two. Twelve ninety. Fourteen fifty-five. Fourteen ninety-nine for one. And I've got two. But then. 99p, two pounds, 99p. Yeah, let's try them. Ooh, Christmas stuff. Hey. Wilton, three quid. Another one. That bit of the max, some kind of light accessory that'll look good in my Christmas display. So, from in there, I've got a couple of Wilton cake tins, some the max lights, a couple of hard rock cafe glasses. I'll check these out. How cool are they? Yeah, there's a bit of wear to them. I think they'll do all right. A fiver. Uh, I've not looked at how much they go for, but I've had Iron Fist many, many times in the past, and they, they always do okay. What's this? Check these out. These are a pound each. They're all the same design. I don't go for a crazy amount, but I think for a quid each, I think we're going to be doing all right. I'm going to buy a lot. But not them. Interesting. Cadbury's World, look at that guy. Oh, hang on, there's more. See, when you start getting little bundles, it kind of sometimes makes it worth it. Right, I think that's it for me. Let's see how James is getting on. How are you doing, mate? You found much? Yeah, just a pair of jeans so far. Um, some stuff like looks like it's probably been like a bit too long. Yeah. But, uh, what you bought some the colour coordinated shop, like um, all, all the same colour bits being in the same place. Yeah, it's uh, different, isn't it? It's different. Yeah. <laughs> Very different. Roller coaster in a, in a, over in Bush Garden. 
That's now I think we can stop that. Which looks cool. Another one. What then? Handle. I've never been told that. It's just a handle. There you go. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful so from a couple of charity shops back i got all these we'll have a good look at them later on and these little guys these are a pound each although she basically did me one one free so yeah not too bad but just then i got most of it on camera but there's a couple of things i bought as i was at the till one being this i thought this was pretty cool two quid is all it was and then anesco is the brand 1985 again only two quid apparently these lights light up up here so we'll have to try that out later Right, so just been to the tip shop, found some good stuff in there, including a massive load of bandages. Yeah, bandages, like, pastas, yeah. pastas, yeah. <laughs> it was a good spot, to be fair. Yeah, it's always good here. I mean, I can go weeks here without buying anything, and then I'll just turn up one time. Right, I've never been to a tip shop. And I'll find loads of stuff. I've so. never been to one, and it was awesome. Well, there's another one, not to say where it is, secret, secret. I've not been myself yet, but apparently it's good. Right. So we'll have to try that at some point. <laughs> so. Yes, definitely. The next stop home and we'll go through everything and see how much we can make. Are we selling it all for profit on eBay? So that's what happened in the first day. And I'll say now the second day wasn't quite as good. We decided to hit a different part of the Foul Coast, which is quite expensive and kind of not necessarily the best place to hit. But we thought, let's give it a go and see what happens. So... We did find some stuff though, and actually James found like a really good score. So I'm going to sum up my second day in the next three minutes. I'll do a little montage and then we'll look at everything we picked up on both days at the end of the video. Right, so here we are for round two here in Lytham St. Anne's. Fingers crossed for some gems as well. Definitely known for being a bit more expensive around here. I'm looking at the cars, Range Rovers and... Uh and Ferraris every other car. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Fancy some rapes co. Oh yeah, I'd love some rapes co. Some fabrics in here called Pure for Men Stay Ready. I can't work out what they might be for. What? <laughs> Stay ready. Oh I don't know what they're for, but I'm hoping um, they're not. Uh... I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning this off so the missus doesn't have any idea. <laughs> oh, he's right in there with the trunkies. Yeah, can, you're like me with a bread bin, you can see him from a mile away.
this is where all the glow sticks are. I was looking for glow sticks the other, like a few weeks ago and I could not find them anywhere. And they're all there. <laughs> Every choice of glow stick. A little bit later and I've got everything out in front of me right here let's have a look what we've got so here's everything I bought now the last place we went to today was the tip shop and they don't like you filming so I didn't film in there but I got all of these bandages right here and James got some good stuff from there as well and these were less than a pound each I said how much will you do for the lot and he's done the whole lot for 15 quid which I think is about five or six pounds off they very massively in price out there but i've had these before this brand before not this exact uh, type of like compression bandage or plaster or whatever they are for 15 quid we'll sell like one lot of three or four and um, there's the money back and into the profit first item i've bought today was these these baubles two pounds they're kind of old school like 80s i think maybe 90s and they're not the best things I've, they're not the best like christmas decorations i've ever had in my life but they're unique enough figured i'd give them a go I'll, i won't be asking a huge amount for these i'll stick them all up see if i can make i don't know 15 quid on them something like that talking of christmas decorations check these out these coca-cola baubles i love these and prices are anywhere from like five to eight pounds each you know and there's quite a few of them out there but I'm confident they will go well. I paid a pound each for them. So I don't think you can go too far wrong. I'll definitely be keeping one of these for my Christmas tree. And also sticking with the Christmas kind of decoration side of things. Check these out. These Lamax lights. They're just like a little set of colourful Christmas lights. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use these for in my Christmas village. But I will use them somewhere. I've seen these out there before but I don't think I've ever had one before. I've seen them out there when I've been searching my CD storage that I've picked up before in the past. I've not, I don't buy that many of them anymore. I don't seem to find them quite as often as I used to. Uh, but this was three quid. This brand is pretty good. They vary quite a bit depending on like the colour, I think. I think that's like the deciding factor for people on how much money they're getting on them. Uh, this one, it's not a bad one. It's not the most expensive one out there. I reckon I can get about 20 to 25 on this. Got a couple of Hornsey jars here, three pounds each. The ceramic is in pretty good condition, but the lids are, I've seen better days. But three quid each, that's still okay, just about. Got some Wilton cake tin pans there. We've got two, We've got this one. And that one, which is a whoopie pie pan. I mean, what's, I'm not even sure what a whoopie pie is. Three quid each. Uh, this one is a bit better. People asking like 20, 25 on this. I don't think they're going to get it. I think that's a little bit too much on this one. But I guess in you know we're near near Christmas now and people have probably raised the prices a bit. We've got these three here. I think these are really good. They're only a pound each. I think this one's probably going to be worth the most. And from Bush Gardens, that one. But these these can do okay. They're you know a little bit hit and miss. We only paid a pound each then it's worthwhile worth giving them a go they always go eventually got this here disney store exclusive snow globe uh, this one somebody out there's ask, asking about 40 quid on this i don't again i don't think that's quite gonna be right i mean it's christmas themed i think more like 25 maybe 30 at a push it is brand new sealed six quid is what it was We've got a jigsaw there i don't usually pick up these but this is one of those shaped ones where the pieces are like a kind of unusual shape and hello <laughs> And yeah, it's, um, I don't know, three quid. I looked it up. A few, few people had sold them, like pre-owned, not for a huge amount. Brand new seal that's good kind of gift fodder coming up to Christmas. Uh, this here, RAF uh, plane right here, two pounds. These kind of mirrored pictures like this can do well. I think this will do all right. I've had a search online. I cannot find anybody selling one out there, but I think it'll do all right. Got a couple of pairs here. I've got these two pairs and this and this, 10p each. This is like an old baby born Zapf uh, thing. 
I don't know if there's much money in, in this, but we will see. I buy these when they're really cheap and I'll bundle them up and do like a bundle of Pez. They usually sell well like that. Uh, this is pretty cool. This Inesco branded thing. It's called True Love. And a lot of people have managed to sell these out there for like 25, 30 quid, pretty much all out of America. Uh, this one, unfortunately, doesn't light up. The battery compartment has seen better days. Maybe I can get it working, but I don't think I will on this one. But it still winds up and plays the tune and it moves around. So I think that'll do all right. That was only two pounds. I reckon we can get at least 20 quid on that. We've got this Port Merion here. Three quid for this size is just about all right. I would have liked if it was a bit bigger, to be honest. But the condition is really, really good. Somebody recently got nine pounds for the two. I think I can get a little bit more. You know, coming up to Christmas, I don't know, 11 99 plus postage, something like that. They were 50p each. Got a couple of Hurricane glasses here. Hard Rock Cafe. I don't usually pick these up because usually they're not worth nothing. But this particular type... Uh, with Rome on them, do seem to have a little bit of money in them. £3.50 for the two, so £1.75 each. And I should be able to get about maybe 20 quid for the two, something like that. Got these Iron Fist shoes here, these are pretty good. But this particular version that looked just like this seems to be fairly rare from what I can see. There's lots of other ones with eyeballs on though. 20 quid at least. So that is everything that I've purchased today. So what have we got? We've got these games here. These are only really worth it if you can get a big bundle of them for cheap, which is what I did here. They did me the whole lot for 10 quid. Uh, individually, there'll be very, very little in each one. Although there have been times in the past where I've sold the odd one individually and it's made decent money. Like recently I sold Sleepy Hollow for a tenner, free postage. I've got this here, Sailor Moon and Luna Funko Pop. Now, James picked this up first and he looked it up and there wasn't quite enough money in it for him. I think there's probably only going to be about a tenner maximum profit in it. You know, six to make ten. It's not, it's not fantastic. But it's enough for me. And Christmas around the corner. Easy to list. I'm going to have to say this is pre-owned, I think, on the listing. Because, although I don't think it's ever been out of the box by the looks of it. The box is a little bit rough around the edges. But... That shouldn't hurt the value too much. Check this guy out, Spuddy. Yes, he's new with tags. And I've never seen this little like desktop version of this guy before. It's always the bigger ones, like the couch ones. But this is meant for your desktop, ruler, highlighter pen, whatever else you want in there. That's the idea. £3.50. Again, Christmas around the corner. Perfect little stocking filler. Right here we have a McDonald's toy and you can see there, if you can see through the writing, that they did all different ones. Miss Piggy, Kermit, is that the chef? And of course, Beaker right there. Now if you've got the Beaker one brand new sealed, they can go like 15 to 18 pounds, which is crazy. But that's how much the solds we're looking at. I mean, some people only got a tenner, but I mean, still, tenner, right? Uh, this one... Yeah, this one is, doesn't seem to be as many of them out there, brand new sealed anyway. Uh, but I reckon I can get a tenner if I hold out a little bit. Pound into a tenner for something like this. I think that's pretty good. So here we got part of a jelly mould with all these little shape bits. I never see these shape bits out there. I always see people selling them on eBay because I'm always selling Tupperware. So I'm seeing other people with them. But I've never picked up one that has like all these different bits. So you've got a heart, a flower... Christmas tree, star, and what's that, tulip. And, yeah, I don't think there's like a massive amount of money in them. I think they were £2, something, £2.30, was it? So, yeah, we'll make a little profit on them. Just thought I'd give them a go because I've never seen them. Uh, not many people out there like selling these by themselves. Uh, I might just do that because I could sell, I'd probably send these as a large letter, kind of like that. Get rid of that bit. Will that fit in a big envelope like that as a large letter? Maybe. Maybe, although these days it's not much cheaper to send a large letter than it is a small parcel, right? These two mugs here, £2.90 each. Pause for fork. I thought this had something to do with the Forever Friends brand, but it's not. It's a different thing. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, I looked at that and I thought, that that's Forever Friends, right? Uh, but actually on the back, it's a different brand completely. Brand called Mansell. That one is actually Christmas themed as well. 
that one's not. I'd hope for at least a tenner each, but I'd be aiming higher than that. And obviously, it's a mug. There's only so much people are going to pay for this kind of thing. But this is the best time of year coming up to Christmas you know, to sell this kind of thing. Next is this jug right here. What do you guys think? This was £5 reduced from 10 Now, I wouldn't I wouldn't have paid 10 quid for this. No way. Five of though, it was like, should I, shouldn't I? What do you think? I asked, went and asked James what he thought. I could tell that he didn't really like it. I like the polka dot-ness of it. The polka dots. Like, it's very like Ever Bridgewater, isn't it? I think. But I don't really like the shape of it, to be honest. This is the brand here, Rosanna. I looked it up in the shop and I couldn't seem to find anything, but I've looked since I've come home. I image searched it and somebody has one in America up for about £29 plus a load of postage. And then lastly, we've got this Monopoly Liverpool FC edition, brand new and sealed. It's from 2007, brand new sealed Monopolies. If you've got the right one, could be really good. I've had better ones, you know, like the Blackpool and Foul Coast one does really well. I've had a P&O Ferries one once that's brand new sealed and that went really well. I've had a couple of others as well. I'm the only person as of making this video who actually has one that's new. There are a few out there that are pre-owned. It would make a good gift, you know, we're coming up to Christmas. If it wasn't Christmas around the corner, then perhaps I would have thought twice about buying it for a tenner. Thank you very much for joining us in this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, don't forget to go and check out James's channel, Times of JR, and watch his video of the same two days. That's it for now. See you in the next one.